Hi guys, we're Rogue 46 here, welcome yourselves back to Mojo GB20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with historic mode. We're going to start with the market. So we've got Repsol Honda from 2010, Eddie Lawson from 1992, and Suzuki from 2004. I think we'll just buy all these. Then that is done. Okay, so we can uh, go on to the easy challenge today. And uh, yeah, I don't fancy doing seven laps around Silverstone in the wet. Um, on 120%. So, who shall we use? Um, I might actually go for Christopher Mulan for this one. Yeah, so let's go. So it is a wet Satsum ring. I know we've done Satsum ring in the last one, but uh, this time it is raining. We're on a Suzuki again, though. So the Rizla Suzuki with Christopher Mulan on it, and obviously. Mulan was really good in the wet so we shouldn't have any troubles with this one we shouldn't have any troubles with that anyway Alex Barros is down well, well we've uh, got Biagi gone back into the lead as we go through Omega okay We're not doing a lot at the moment just uh, staying in second place Slide in the rear. Mickey Hayden is down. Through turn seven. Try and get the exit. There we go. They slow right down because it's uh, an easy challenge. So we are leading as oh, very wide there. We're leading as Chris through Newland. Down the waterfall we go. Six of the second lead at the moment. And we've got two laps to go. And then we'll go on to the next race, which I think said uh, Aragon. The last time we raced in Aragon was on the, uh, the difficult challenge. And we ended up unfortunately getting pipped by Rossi at the end of the race. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, try it again. Hopefully we'll have uh, better luck this time with the intermediate one. So through turn two, down to turn three, Omega. Try not to slide the rear too much. Try not to lose the front on braking as well. All right. So far, so good. Oh, Sete Gibbonel is down. He's now down on the gravel. I don't know whether he collided with someone or whether he just went wide or just tucked the front or whatever. And very wide again there. Casey Stoner up to fourth place, just past Loris Caparossi. Oh, we got big lead now. 3.6 seconds over Biaggi. Still trying to decide who to uh, go with for the next race. So we've got one lap to go aboard the Rizla Suzuki. 125.4 in the rain. Down to turn one. Biaggi second, Stoner in third. Stoner's actually in second now. Casey Stoner on the move. But no, he won't catch me in this race. So just uh, get through these corners without crashing. That's the plan. Definitely going to do this one. We'll see who now becomes available in the market. I don't think I'm going to have enough to buy lots of things. So we might just have to pick and choose when the, the next lot come up. And obviously after Aragon they will reset again. And we'll have more diamonds that time. So we'll be able to see um, who's going to become available. 
So we've got one corner to go. We are going to win in the wet as Chris Vimulen aboard the Rizla Suzuki. Though obviously Rizla is not on the uh, on the levers or on the bike in the game. Due for obvious reasons. So we won by 6.8 seconds. 3,000 diamonds. Who and what can we unlock? Not a lot at 5,400. We can unlock Rossi from 2006. And Shinya and Nakano as well from 2005. So I think we'll unlock both the riders. And uh, leave Repsol Honda from 2011 for now. Right, yeah, the next one is at Aragon. Six laps around here. Um, I think I might actually use Jorge Lorenzo for this one from 2012. See how we get on them. Right then, so it is time to go racing as Jorge Lorenzo. Just to uh, change the ECU settings. Okay, that's fine. Uh, track temperature 96. I'm going to go for a medium front and a hard rear tyre. See how we get on with that. Full tank of fuel. Let's do this. Obviously we'll be starting at the front of the second row. Uh, the bottom of the second row. Sixth place. Here we go. Well, that was a good start. That was a very good start into turn one. We are third position. Cato is down. Shaky Burn has gone into the lead and we're between both of them and into the lead. Good move that between Shaky Burn and Max Biaggi. Through turn four to turn five. Bit wide. Oh, Biaggi trying to get through. But he's still trying to get through on the inside. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're safe from Biaggi for now. I'll tell you what, this Yamaha does feel very stable, as to be said. It does feel pretty stable. The rear's not sliding a hell of a lot. And it's not pulling big stoppies on the brakes as well. It was very stable. Okay, we are pulling away now. Through the chicane. Wait and see if uh, anyone can catch me back up. Some of them take a, a few laps to get going. We're on the back straight. 1.6 seconds we are leading by at the moment. Down to the final couple of corners. Alright, run to the line. That is lap one of six completed. Down to turn one. Okay, so Burn is actually back up the second place. Biaggi's down the fifth. So Biaggi not having uh, a great race so far. He's lost another place to Dovi. He's got it back though. No, he hasn't. Okay, well, whilst that battle goes on, we are just pulling away as Lorenzo. Yeah, this, this Yamaha feels good. 3.7 second lead over Shaky Burn. So you what, this could be a good bike to use for the uh, the difficult challenges as well, actually. Because it handles pretty well, as it should do. It's a Yamaha. See what happens when the tyres go off a little bit more. Yeah, it feels pretty easy to use. Turn 15 onto the back straight again. We are pulling away even more. 
4.2 second lead over Shane Byrne. We are doing the business and we're doing it well. That is lap two, done and dusted. 149.6. Colin Edwards is up to second place. He's just demoted Burn to third. Stoner's up to four. I think even if Stoner did come through and start setting faster laps, then uh, he's got a big uh, gap to try and get across. I think we might actually be okay. 5.4 seconds, yeah. I think this, even though Stone is up to third now, I think that, that gap is going to be way too big for him to get across. Let's see how quickly he gets into second place. If it's not very quickly, then I know that maybe he's just going to uh, be held up a bit. Okay. Dovey's up to... Well, he was momentarily up to fourth, but Shaky Burns got him back, but not for long. Okay, on to the back straight again. Go into first person camera for this one. Go for this one, I think, for the time being. Alright. I'll tell you what, should I try and do a whole lap like this? Yeah, I think I might try and do a, uh, a whole lap like this and see how we get on. 148.5 on that lap. Wide through turn one. I'm going to be all over the place in this camera view, I know I am. Wide again, a bit of a twitch and that sent me wide. And I'm not going to be as quick in this camera mode as well, that was a big twitch there. I'm having all kinds of issues with the bike now. Come on, come on. And the brakes into the reverse corkscrew. I can see visibly they're closing me down, but we'll continue. We will do a full lap. Stops, please, please get stopped. Yeah, a bit wide, but we got it stopped nonetheless. Okay, into the chicane. I don't think I've hit a single apex on this lap. Oh, again, the rear trying to step out. Okay, so we're nearly there with one full lap will go to helmet camera for the final couple of corners oh oh we're going very wide very wide stop it stop it come on get through get through yes okay so back to normal now for the last couple of laps stoner has not got past colin edwards we've got two and a half second lead so we lost a lot of time in first person but uh we'll see if we can pull away again if we can then yeah we're definitely going to win this one as well so i didn't do as badly as i thought i was going to in that first person camera i thought it was going to be a deep in the gravel or on the floor 2.2 the gap is coming down keep an eye on it it's only come down a few tenths of a second okay, 
next, but will be in a second. So it was 2.2. Didn't quite stopped. 2.4, so it's gone back up a couple of tenths. So, yeah, I think we'll be okay. We've only got to finish this lap and then do one more. And then we are done and dusted around Aragon as Jorge Lorenzo. straight again yeah we've got a good lead it's fine no need to panic and of course the final lap we can do on power mapping 2 not that we really need it but it's there so we'll use it so it is time for the final lap then Turn one. Edward's still in second place. Stoner has not been able to get past him. Alright, let's just get to the end of this and see who is going to be on the market now. We are getting through it. We are unlocking more riders and more bikes. Yeah, oh, that was a big wheelie. But yeah, this Yamaha is definitely one to consider when I'm next to a difficult challenge. This and uh, the Ducati as well. We've got some weapons to choose from when we next do a difficult challenge. I didn't fancy doing one in the rain on the uh, the difficult settings just because I'm going to be pushing too hard and I'm going to just end up crashing. So I would rather do these two and see what the uh, the next uh, difficult challenge is going to be. Hopefully a dry one. That's where we're going to get the the best opportunity to actually win. 2.9 seconds we're leading by. We've got two corners to go into turn 16. The rear is starting to move about a bit more now. Just cross the line. There we go. Done. Obviously lost loads of time doing first person, but one by 3.2 in the end from Colin Edwards in second place. Right then, who is on the market? 9,000, so we've got 10,400 now. So Repsol Honda from 2012, Wayne Rainey from 1993, and Sete Gibbonau from 2003. We'll buy all of them. There we go, guys. I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.